What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Demco spare tire carrier that fits in the stake pockets on your trailer. Now we've got two of them installed here today to show you. Just wanted to show you two different kinds. We got the black powder coat finish over here and the silver. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at them. This is the silver one here we're gonna look at first. You can see it's already a smoother look to it. It doesn't have the hammered finish as the black powder coat one, but it looks just as good on your trailer. This is the black powder coat version here. You can see what I'm talking about where you can see the texture and feel it. It's got the little dimples in there on the black powder coat finish and it matches most trailers out there, but it's really up to you which one you want. The color's really the only difference between them. I mean, they're both functionally the same thing. They're both, the purpose of them is getting the tire off of your trailer and put it on the side here out of the way. You know, we're not putting it on the A-frame here in the way of the jack or a toolbox you might have. You get to pick your stake pocket and position you want to put the tire that's best for you. Now I want to show you how it actually is in there. You can see the two brackets sandwich the stake pocket here. We slide this one in first, start one of the bolts as we add this piece on there, tighten it down, and it's on the real snug. I mean, I'm shaking the entire trailer. This bracket itself's not moving, it's not going anywhere. Up front, you can adjust it to fit many different bolt patterns. It fits from two and a half to six and a half inch wheels. And to adjust the bolts for your bolt pattern, you just loosen the middle bolt here. Slightly like that, and you can see these bolts move up and down this channel. You just get them set for the bolt pattern you have, which I recommend doing before you get it up here. I would do it on the ground, which we'll show you in the install. Then you tighten back down the middle bolt. Which tightens this bracket back here, up here, not moving. So then they're forever in place for that pattern. If you need to adjust it, it's easy enough to do. You also want to think about placement of your spare tire carrier. Now this one fits in any two by four size stake pocket. You just want to make sure it's no more than three inches deep and it'll be just fine. As you can see, our trailer has a bunch of different stake pockets on there that gives us many different options of where we're going to put our spare tire. You can see we have this strap here as well it was a little too close to the stake pocket, so we didn't want to put it here. That's why we put ours up front. Now, every trailer is going to be different, so you might have different options than we do. But the important part is we have all those options on both sides. If you had just a U-bolt, you'd be kind of stuck up here, up the front. All this stuff could be in the way. You could you know, not be able to get to the jack or you have a toolbox or something. And it just doesn't give you a whole lot of options. With the stake pockets, you have plenty on both sides. Now, whatever color you go with, they both have a 500-hour salt spray rating which means they're going to hold up to your elements and keep them from eroding over time now that we've had a good look at the spare tire carrier let's show you how it gets installed first thing before you even install it on your trailer or get it to the pocket itself i want to give a tip that i learned the hard way while i was trying to install it you want to get these bolts lined up with the bolt pattern on your wheel when it's on the ground rather than when it's sideways on the trailer so as you can see i set the tire down on it here Way easier to line up the bolts while it's on the ground. You can loosen this and move these as you need to, rather than sliding it in the pocket and trying to hold the tire, tighten this down, and line it up. So take it from me, that's way easier. First step we're gonna to wanna to do is attach the plate to the tire holder itself. You see, you just take the bolts, and put them from the inside to the outside, and it'll screw into this plate. So we're gonna get this top one started and then slide it in. That way it holds itself up. Another tip I learned, try and install it before. Go ahead and run it down a little bit, but not too much. You wanna make sure that it can still make a gap to slide it in that pocket. Put enough so it doesn't fall off when you pick it up. Now we're gonna take it and slide it into the pocket. See how it's catching on that top bolt there? It's gonna hold in place so I can work underneath and do the same thing with this bolt. So I'm gonna go ahead and run down this bottom one. I'm gonna do them a little bit of time so you do it evenly. That way the plate doesn't get pressured like this way on the top and not on the bottom. It would look weird. And we don't want it to look weird. I can just lift the tire on there and set it on the bolts. I'm gonna try and do it here on the side so you guys can see. 
how much easier it is now that it's already set other than these things going up and down and trying to loosen this this was way easier we'll add the lug nuts which are sold separately you'll have to look those up on our site for the ones that are good for you then i'll go ahead and tighten them down Aha. with that tightened down i'll show you how sturdy it is it's not going anywhere i'm shaking the whole trailer this tire is going to stay with the trailer that does it for a look at the demco spare tire carrier that fits in your steak pockets